Wreck is a real nice supplier unit at Squad Busters. He can be used for chopping trees and converting loot out of it. In this video we want to check out Crack and I will tell you in which modifiers he can be used in a super good way and even outperforms other busters. So if you are curious how to play Crack and make the most out of him, definitely stay tuned and watch this video until the end. And with that said, thank you everybody for being here again, really appreciate it. And if you can't wait for the global launch, then definitely smash the like button and subscribe for free to my channel to shorten the time a little bit. Being right here at my squad and there's Craig. Craig is a supplier unit, right now we get it on 2 stars and 6 out of 10 progress on the way to the super unit. And I can't wait to get him in his super form because he's getting even better. But first things first, as a baby, he chops trees for loot. Alright. Then, as a classic, he chops the trees twice as fast, so he's cutting the trees in half the time, which is very nice and useful. And on this super form, he will get even more loot from the trees, which is really, really nice. Comparing him with his raw stats to the other supplier units, he got 100 damage and 1300 HP. The trader has the same damage per second while having slightly more HP. So the trader is a little tankier unit than Crack. But for sure the use case is completely different. The same counts for Goblin, which has even less HP, but pretty much more damage. And Mavis, which is just doing Mavis things, collecting carrots and getting tons of gold. So we can see Crack is a little bit special since he is the only supplier unit which can gather uh, gems by itself. Yes, the trader is converting gold into gems, but not that high amount. And the two other units are just collecting coins. So he is somewhat in between the other units since he is collecting gold and gems. But what makes him so good? Every mode which has not additional golds like killing uh, the goblins, the loot llama, or having gem rush where you're getting additional gems from almost every coin, he is very useful. In those modes he is not too good since there are tons of ways to get further gems which will outperform Crack and where I would prefer a damage unit to go into the fights. But Crack is really useful in the non-damage builds where you want to dodge the fights with other players. So the main target is to for sure loot the trees, cut them off and outperform the enemies with collecting gems. So every mode where you can't gather additional gems he is very useful since trees are in the early stage of the game one of the easiest ways to get gems. Later for sure you can defeat the bosses in the center and you will also gather some gems but you might have a very good head start so that you get at least into the top 5. Let's jump straight into match. We are right here at Royal Rumble Yard and we are getting Loot Surge. Loot Surge is a kind of mid mode for him actually. Yes, there are later on gems as well, but there we go with Crack straight as a first pick. Usually we would go here going for the coins to make our team even better, but we are chopping trees since that is our task for today here. We could see they're getting a lot of coins there as well and gems on top. You already can see it being the first one getting four gems. We got a good head start right there and that's the task we want to do now. We want to chop further trees, get better units and then we can even fight at the end even he is not the best unit. So already five trees chopped and now with the level up you can see he's one shotting clearly the trees which is really nice. So we just keep on running for the next trees. But a boom next one, another one and just from the raw amount of uh, gems we are in a really good position. We are not going for further ones because in my opinion one is enough especially uh, on the fusion version since he's chopping those trees with one shot. Now we would get here further coins. That would be the moment I usually would go for the coins for sure but we are chopping trees all day. You can see the damage is not too high. We are even struggling with that unit here but we want to chop trees. So that's the next one. Hey, don't, don't kill our Shelly there. Oh, no, don't run into the next team. That is for sure a thing where we have to look at, since we don't want to run into the, too many fights. As we got Craig there, which is, comparing the fighting capabilities, he's definitely not the best unit out there, even a pretty weak one. But for sure, we are building our squad around him. So right now, still on the first position, getting further bow, and now we have to focus back on trees. Most already respawned. 
so we can just chop then and get further coins and for sure gems. So right now we can even fully boost. We got the 10 on top there. Boom, another crack, that's good. And now we even could go for some further gems, but uh, for some further coins, but coins are not really the issue since we're getting so many from those trees. We just run around, chop those trees and collect coins in parallel and try to outperform the enemies. And you know, it's not the very most important thing to get to the first position, yes, you're getting a little bit better crate there for sure. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter which way you have used to become first. And that's why we want to go here with some farm build. Getting even a neat down a better level it is pretty nice. So now we're going for those skeletons since the damage for sure is also pretty good. But the main task are, so, uh, are those trees. And we're going from one to the next one for sure you could use those bombs to blow them up. But I think you're getting slightly less gems whenever you blow up a tree. And right now there is no one else using crack, which is very nice since you don't have to share the trees. So you're getting more out of it. And now we have to be a little bit careful since there are gems for everybody. Gem mine is open. But you could see already this build up here is actually pretty nice since we're not only collecting uh, coins. We are also collecting champs, so this is kind of a good mixture to get a good team with the further coins and to get a good head start for your champs. And now we have to be careful, we don't want to fight here. Let me stealing a little bit, but that's okay, we are still seconds, so we might not get first here. But actually, I don't really care since we have such a good position, the first one for sure has outperformed us. With 155 uh, coins, uh, gems for sure. We might did go ham here while they've dropped. But we are not in a, in a, verse, in a too bad round, but let's not die here. Shortly dangerous situation. Should have saved more boost there. But we are pretty solid on the second position without any effort. And that's why I really like that crack. You can dodge the fights, you can run around. Usually I would build him up together with one of those printing units. Uh, for the, With the speedster unit to be able to escape quicker. Okay, you get a second pretty weak unit like the chicken. Or the hog rider but on the other side you can faster escape and even get faster from one tree to another tree which is very nice so i hope this guide did help you to understand how you can use crack in a really effective way and why i personally think he's a very very good supplying unit at squad busters thank you guys and see you again pretty soon